Hello and welcome. This is a section where we are going to understand about the types of Fury applications we have and uh, how they are categorized. So there will be multiple types of Fury application, but they are basically categorized on what you are going to do on those applications and how are you going to make it happen. For example, if I'm going to do a transaction of approving a purchase order or if there's a sales order happening. So if I'm buying something and I have a sales order, then I'm doing this transaction and that is one type of application. It will be similar if I'm trying to fill a time card application as well because that would be considered from a ERP side a transaction. So those are one category of application. You have the transaction application. Then you have the second category of application where you are trying to search something. For example, in your Fury Launchpad, you have this search capability if you are inside your application as well. In the top, there will be a search bar. And if you're trying to search something, for example, it can be anything. It can be a purchase order number, sales order number, employee number. And similar to Google, you're trying to get the information related to that particular number throughout your entire database. So you are doing the search, then those application which are coming when you're trying to search your particular keywords, which can be a number associated with a purchase order or a sales order, then you first search the particular number. Then there are some relevant information which comes. The first information after search would be always the search result. And when you go inside a particular search result, then you will see the contextual information about that particular object. So if a purchase order number is there then you will see okay this is the purchase order then you see the bill of materials then you have this relevant material number then you go inside and you will be also able to navigate between other particular transaction application if you want to approve this particular purchase order request or you want to modify that particular purchase order request so those application where you see the search result of any particular keyword you put in the Fury Launchpad search are the fact sheet application. So they are pretty much useful when you are having some information and you want to search this information from your entire database or your data that okay, just find me the purchase order or anything related to this particular search and those all the contextual information. So here what you mean by contextual information is relative information about this particular purchase order which can be approving that rejecting that editing that or seeing the material related to that search order or purchase order what you have in this particular scenario so those are basically the contextual information and these type of application are called the fact sheet application so the third type of application is where you see the analytics behind a particular application for example if I'm going to require to see multiple data over time, over multiple years, and see how much a particular material I'm ordering or what is my revenue figures? Am I having a loss? What is my expenses from past six months or five years or 10 years? So these are some of the application where you want to look for some patterns and uh, you probably will be consuming this with graphs, mostly with graphs like bar chart, line chart, bubble chart, and a lot of different variations of graphs. So these are analytics application. And also the KPI tiles, which is a particular tile where you have some information on it. So these are called key performance indicator. And uh, for a business, you might have some KPIs. For example, if I'm a company who is responsible for delivering items, then one of the KPIs for me is how many successful items I have basically delivered this month or how many items have we not been able to deliver or how many customer complaints we have this particular month or this particular three months period which is what we have a quarter. So those are KPI figures for a particular business because the business users might be interested to look on to certain number and for example if I have more than 30 complaints in a particular month then that is a warning signal for my business that something is wrong so these managers or business people need to then fix those 
scenarios they have in their dashboard the KPIs figures as well and that can be related to any kind of business it can be a delivery business it can be also related to a business where you have oil and gas facility you have to keep track of your numbers so that is always important for higher management people anyone who is keeping track of how the business is doing they need the KPI so they need to get an overview of how things are happening with graphs and this KPI and the application type is analytical and KPI application and as you might have seen that in the analytical application and fact sheet application we require a huge amount of data to be processed in a very less amount of time so you need to have a backend which is the database which is supporting that for example in the first type of application you have your transaction application you can do it with any database it can be your hana database or it can be db2 database or any other database like mongodb postgresql nosql database are also gaining popularity so any database in which your erp data is stored you can utilize this to run your transaction application and when it comes to your fact sheet application and your analytical application you need to do a lot of processing and going through huge volume of data which is only possible if you're having SAP HANA and therefore the fact sheet and analytical and KPI based application can only be run with SAP HANA as the backend so this is how this three broad category of application are now there is one more type of application where we see fury running on s4 hana in the previous section of uh, web id course where we have gone through the s4 hana in details and have told you that this is the business suit version 4 for hana and it comprises of your sap system running on hana with a bap server you have your bw system as well so these are four system together given to you and when the fury application use this particular systems they will have the capability to perform the operation much faster it can be any search or it can be any pulling any analytics or it can be doing any transaction it can all be possible when you have s4 hana as your business suit and you're running fury application on top of s4 hana so broadly i can categorize three different types of application but this s4 hana business suit running fury is application type which is different in architecture where you can actually run all the three different kind of application types so you basically entered from your launch pad and in your launch pad you will see these three types of application so just to summarize you have the first transaction application where you are trying to change some data do some read and write operation from the database this is having transactional properties like the acid property and it is basically doing with business processes to give you a keywords and generalize this thing this is dealing with business processes now the second type is the fact sheet which will be utilized to search the entire business data and trying to find you related contextual information about a keywords which you are trying to search and the third is your analytics driven application which is mostly to find something as a pattern mostly done or used by business people to go through the entire database and mostly the data you consume in form of graphs and these are the fury application which required heavy processing or vast amount of data to be consumed and uh, you need to crunch those data to give a graph or a presentation of the data in terms of graph so the user can actually see some patterns in trying to figure out how the business is doing how are the improvement we can impose on the business or processes if they are all doing good or some improvement can be done on certain type of processes so these are basically three application and the application which is running on s4 hana business suit has the capability to do all these three kind of operations so these are four broad category of application what you will see in the market today and you will require to work on so let's understand from an architectural standpoint if i want to work with this transaction application fact sheet analytics and s4 hana how the systems are placed together 
and how this architecture of these four application varies from one another. So let's catch up in the next section to understand this with the transaction application first.